used to have like a bad relation with like how many doors I'm going to knock. And so I actually don't do the like, hey, you know, I'm going to knock 100 doors or whatever. Yeah. But for me, it's like, how fast can I get from each door to each door? So good. You know, it's not like a, hey, like I've already knocked 50 doors. I'm ahead of schedule. I can slow down or, hey, you know what? Now I'm going to get more. I'm going to get, you know, 21 sales because I'm going to be able to knock 105 doors today or whatever. For me now, it's like, how fast can I get from each door to door? It's like, I'm going to give my everything on each door. There you go. So if the customer yeah. comes out, they're yelling, screaming or whatever. Hey, that's not a big deal. Have yeah. a good one, whatever. Move on to the next door. Yeah. I'm not going to convince them to buy anyway. But then it's like, if I get that person that's willing to chat, it's like, I'm going to give a hundred percent on that. I'm going to nice. try closing it as quick as I can. Yeah. Because obviously I do understand time is money. And you know, if you're hitting high volumes of sales, you can't spend an hour with the customer. I think it's very easy to get in that trap. You know, how fast can I get from each door to door? It's like segues are a big thing in the industry or, you know, for you, it's like, Hey, if I can do one in five, that's a 20% chance of closing. Mm-hmm. I can't yeah. make any sales on the sidewalk you know what i mean like it's all on the doors only 